Tonight we are remembering Indiana Congresswoman Jackie Walarski who was killed today in a car crash. We're going to get into that story with uh, Rachel Kraus in just a moment. Welcome inside Channel 13 here. It's 10 o'clock and we want to get you weather aware tonight because Angela parts of our state right now having some rain having some rain. We were under a severe thunderstorm watch earlier this afternoon and this evening that was canceled just a little bit ahead of schedule it was set to expire at nine. So no watches, no warnings, but we're still watching live Doppler 13 radar for some pockets of heavier rain and a few uh, lightning strikes. We're picking up a few in the eastern part of the state, so we're east along 70 and south of 70 just west of Connorsville and we've got another cell just to the south of Cambridge City and a little rain moving into uh, Fountain City. All of us kind of tracking off to the east southeast. Another cluster of storms approaching Cloverdale. So this is uh, just south of Greencastle. This is going to move along 231. This by far is the strongest cell. Uh, might have some gusty winds with it. Definitely has the heavy rain. Definitely has the lightning. That's going to slide east southeast. So uh, Gosport be on the lookout. And if it would hold together, uh, maybe into Morgan County, uh, Martinsville uh, as well. So as we go north, this is all just rain. Nothing severe here. No light here. We're picking up some steady rain. Places like Crawfordsville up toward Lafayette. Some embedded thunderstorms possible this evening and overnight, and that's what's showing up on Future Track 13. Some lingering rain, maybe a couple of rumbles of thunder. At this point, we're not forecasting much in the way of severe weather, but the overall weather pattern changes after a very hot, humid day today with clouds around. Tomorrow we'll be back into the mid 80s, some off and on showers and thunderstorms. It's not going to rain all day start to finish, so best advice for outdoor activities. Just check live Doppler 13 radar first uh, because these are going to be scattered. OK, so not a, not a washout, but a daily rain chance will take us through the weekend. All right, we'll get back to Angela and get you more information about the seven day coming up in just a few minutes. We do want to talk about our big story tonight. This uh, horrible news uh, about Jackie Wilarski, the uh, second district congressman uh, who has been in uh, the northern part of our state uh, representing Indiana in Congress, uh, killed today along with two staff members and a fourth person today in another car. Rachel Krause has been covering this for you. What a tragedy today. Yeah, really heartbreaking news for a lot of folks, really regardless of where you stand on the right. political aisle. Kind of came as a shock to a lot of folks. Like you mentioned, she was very, very well known yep. around the state of Indiana and really all around Congress. Um, I spoke with Congressman Jim Baird earlier today who worked with her for a few years in Congress. He said he, she was just very insightful and a lot of lawmakers from around other states would come to her and seek her advice, her opinion on things. Right. She was just very well spoken, very insightful, very passionate about the causes that she believed in. And one of the main causes she was constantly pushing for it was for bettering Hoosiers lives and just said this is a really big loss for him. He thought of her as a good friend. She said she was really fun, <laughs> really had a good sense of humor as well. Um, I also spoke with Kyle Hopfer. He's the chairman of the Indiana Republican Party about Jackie Walorski. He said that he'd known her in her years at the State House ever before she'd even gone to Congress back in 2012. And before that, he said she was just very, very passionate. He constantly would introduce her to people as a fighter because that's how he always thought her. She thought he just very much thought of her as a mentor and somebody who was just really representing Indiana well on a really national scale. Really, really proud of her. Just really thinking of this as a big uh. loss today. Now, he also knew one of the other crash victims. Wolorski's district director, Zach Potts, he called him a really passionate young man. He said he was just really, really believed in what he was doing and had spent much of his adult life working with Congresswoman Wolorski and working for the Republican Party. And just taking a look at that, you know, the crash site there in northern Indiana, just really heartbreaking for all of those folks. We're, we're seeing tributes starting to pour in, not just from around the state, but around the country. I think a lot of people just really shocked at what happened, mm -hmm. hoping to get some answers about right. what caused that crash and what happens next and a lot of people just sending thoughts and prayers. So what we know is that uh, Congresswoman Walarski was in a car with yes. her two staff members. Yes. Uh, they were in Napanee up in northern Indiana yes. and a car coming the other direction the crossed the center line and, and it was a head-on crash. Yes, absolutely. It was, a, it was a head on crash and the other person in the other car also was killed mm. in that crash. So. All right. Uh, we're gathering a uh, reaction to this uh, this tragedy today, uh, this uh, death involving Jackie Wolarski. Uh, Rachel is going to continue to cover that for us, and she's going to have more for you tonight on 13 News at 11, as we're hearing from former Vice President Mike Pence, uh, former Indiana Governor Mitch Daniels. Uh, Governor Holcomb. Governor Holcomb. 
all you know, uh, paying tribute to uh, Jackie Wolarski, not only her time at the Indiana State House, but obviously in her uh, 10 years uh, in Congress, and uh, we're gonna be talking about that tonight. So Rachel, we'll let you go. Thank you so much for joining us tonight and giving us a preview of your story. All right, things got a little chippy today <laughs> at, the, uh, at Colts camp, and a couple of players got into it a little bit, and you know, Angela, I think, Maybe the weather had We're something to do. We're blaming the heat. We're yeah. blaming the heat. It felt like 104 most of the afternoon. Yeah, right. So it, it was a hot, humid day, so I don't blame them. Yeah, so this is the second week of uh, Colts training camp, and our Taylor Tannenbaum fills us in on what happened up there today. Day six, another hot one out here at Grand Park for training camp after a full padded practice yesterday. Colts back in just shoulder pads today. It was also salute to service day, so several military members were out here watching practice, getting to interact with the players. Now, even though it wasn't a day for full pads, the intensity was still turned all the way up. We got to see our first practice fight, so to speak. Wide receiver Michael Pittman Jr., who tends to play with an edge, got into it with safety Rodney McLeod during team period. Some punches were thrown, uh, but it was quickly broken up. Frank Reich says he likes that competitiveness and toughness out here, but still wants them to be smart. We definitely encourage playing with an edge, as you said, Zach. We, we want, you know, and that's part of what makes Pitt Pitt, um, but we don't want to cross that line, especially with our own teammates. Um, you know, we don't, we don't want to hurt our team. So, you know, those are things that we just deal with as they come up, and um, our guys are pretty mature and know how to handle that stuff. Um, so, you know, we'll just kind of move on from it. Yeah, just another day of training camp out here. Things can get chippy when you're going up against your teammates day in and day out for a couple of weeks. We'll be right back out here tomorrow. They'll have their final practice before the team gets a nice little break on Friday and Saturday, guys. All right, Taylor, thanks for uh, giving us that update. And uh, as she mentions, there is a practice tomorrow. Starts at 12. If you're interested in going to Grand Park, you do need a ticket. Go to Colts.com. Print out a, uh, I, I don't know that you print it out. Maybe you do. I haven't tried it I myself. I haven't tried it either. But you do need a ticket work. in order to get in there. <laughs> right. And you had a good time out there at the Academy yeah. uh, Weather Academy at the State Fair. We took the 13 uh, Weather Academy on the road to the State Fair today, and it really <laughs> was nice. Had a nice crowd. We talked, it was STEM day at the fair. Right. So we talked about the importance of science and education and, um, you know, getting young students excited about fields that right. include science, and weather is one of those. And you had a ribeye. I did. I finally had some <laughs> fair food. Um, I had the ribeye, and we split. I took Grace and my mom out, and then we split uh, a funnel cake. How fun. How was the funnel cake? So good. <laughs> Let me just tell you, they put so much powdered sugar on it. Grace was walking back to the seat with the, right. you know, funnel cake with the powdered sugar, and just enough wind blew. Just blew it all over. <laughs> all over. Oh, poor Grace. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how much powdered sugar, and made to order. Wow. I mean, what, so what, I mean, what can you ask for? Well, I, well, I mean, they just made it right then. Oh, you I see. order it I and see. they make okay. it. All right. But I think they have other options. Like we got the traditional, but they have a uh, red velvet. They had birthday cake. They had a turtle one wow. that they, you know, put different kind of syrups on. But yeah. traditional with for us and the brown or the extra powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. Woo! It was good. <laughs> and of course, a lemon shake up. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, so you got it. it you had it all today. Full day at the fair. <laughs> that was good. All right, so tomorrow, if people are heading out to the fair or doing any outdoor yeah. practice, going to the Colts practice, what's the uh, temperature? Check the radar, and temperatures will be in the mid 80s. We did talk to a few folks yeah. out at the fair that chose today, even though it was so hot, because they didn't want to deal with the chance of a couple of showers mm. and storms. Uh, we still have some rain on live Doppler 13 radar. Nothing severe, but a few rumbles of thunder might wake you up or keep you up the next several hours. And then just uh, like a daily storm chance as we move through the end of the work week and into the weekend. No all day rain. Don't cancel any outdoor plans. We're just in that kind of summertime pattern, yeah. but we won't be as hot tomorrow because of the clouds and the chance for a couple showers and storms. A lot of our friends here at uh, 10 o'clock uh, chiming in, uh, saying yum on all the food that you mentioned. So good. Uh, Brenda saying, oh, I would love a ribeye. <laughs> uh, Glenn's got his mind on barbecue ribs and chicken. Okay. Uh, let's see, Teresa saying yummy, ribeye, O, oh, and funnel cake. <laughs> LOL, Angela and Scott are making me hungry. Hungry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hate and, to do that to you at 10 o'clock. And uh, Teresa says Angela is pretty in pink. Thank you. So we agree with that. Thank and, you. and Daniel said, when did the Colts turn into the Fort Wayne Comets hockey team? Oh, yeah. You know, and I get the coach saying, you know, it's, it's good to be excited. Right. And, and you don't blame them if they're a little hot. But in game situations, you have to control your emotion, too. Yeah, so for learning sure. to do that is, is part of the part of the process. I think I'm they've sure. been, you know, they've been practicing against each other here several days. Yeah. I think they're ready to go hit somebody else. So I think okay. yet another. I know, but 
we don't get, get chippy. Season team. We work together well, all the time, and, it's air and we're not chippy. In here. That's true. Is that, oh, so it's air conditioning. That's why we're not chippy. I, well, and we like each other, so maybe that is another thing. So, well, thank you for joining us tonight at 10 o'clock. We'll all be back with you tonight at 11 over on 13 News, uh, and we'll see you then. Good night. <laughs>